Salam everyone, hello and welcome. This is Aya. In today's video, I'm going to alter this photo frame to uh, an optical theme display. Uh, I don't know what it's gonna be in the end, but I have an idea and I hope I can translate it. And I'm going to use um, this amazing paper pad by Graphic 45 and it's called Ocean Blue. And since this is 9 by 9 inch, so the perfect size will be 8 by 8 inch. If this one 12, so I'm going to use 12 inch. So the images inside will be relatively matching, you know, the theme, or not the theme, sorry, the size of the, your canvas or your photo frame or anything that you're going uh, to alter. So you'll not have, for example, we're going to use like large 12 by 12 inch uh, paper to 9 by 9, you will feel that it's the, 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 the image is uh, a little bit bigger uh, you know relatively you know comparing to the size for the actual canvas or photo frame so I'm going to die cut you know some images uh, because you know as I said I have a theme or image how the final look for this <laughs> for this photo frame so yeah so let's do some fuzzy cutting After I fussy cut all my fishes, it's time to work on the photo frame. I bought this photo frame from Michaels and sometimes they have uh, really good offers and all types and sizes of a photo frame. I'm going now to cover, so my idea is to cover all the sides uh, of this photo frame using papers. So I now took the measurements and everything and it's time to cut it. So I have here my paper trimmer and I'm not going to use this brand, the octopus one. It would be the opposite side, this, um, this, you know, tiny print because all my images and all the work will be in the middle. So I don't want to have also images, you know, octopus or any uh, sea creatures, you know, um, in the sides. So it's time to glue the paper. So I'm using here multimedia um, uh, gel mat. This is from Ranger. You can use any type, um, any types of glue that dries clear because you don't want to see this white glue uh, rooming around. So I'm going to finish all the sides, the four sides, and even from the front. Then I will catch you later to see what we're going to do inside the photo frame. So here it is my background it's like cushion adhere to the to the cardboard so i'm using a light blue uh this one with the octopus uh, not octopus uh um, i have it okay you know this creature <laughs> jellyfish yes i'm using a gel medium um it's better to use i think a glue gun in this time because this was fabric and it was really hard you know to glue them together but I didn't think about it in that moment. <laughs> now the fun part. I'm going to use shrink film. You can use acetate or any recycled light plastic because uh, my idea is I want to make a scene of 3D fishes swimming in the water. So here I'm cutting thin stripes with different length so as if so many fishes you know are swimming and I'm adhering them to the tip of the plastic or shrink film.
I was not patient enough to wait till the fish is dry, then, you know, to see how they're gonna look like. <laughs> Okay, so I will leave them dry and I'm going to add the second, uh, this wood thingy, this to keep, you know, the glass uh, sturdy, I believe. It was really hard to put it, I don't know why, but I managed to do it in the end. Now it's time to add some texture. I was looking for my uh, glue spray, but I couldn't find it. So I'm gonna use a Mod Podge. This is also very strong, clear liquid glue uh, because I'm going to use some sequins. So I, you know, just spread some glue everywhere randomly. So when I spread the sequins, so it will be, you know, uh, everywhere. Now I'm going to add the sentiment you and me and the sea, uh, also from the same paper collection. The mistake I did it here that I didn't look for the back, you know, for uh, the back of the photo frame because I put it the other, the other side. You will see now here, you see. I said no way I'm not going to remove anything I'm just gonna put it you know on, uh, on my office and if I decided you know to hang it I will I would have you know to take it you know to redo it again or you know change the direction now it's time to work on the front of the photo frame so I'm starting with uh, you know a stencil um, I don't know the name of the stencil but i'm going to leave the names and all products and supplies i use in the description box also this silvery um paste they are amazing very soft and i use my hand <laughs> you know to apply it anyway when you use stencil or any paste it gives you really uh, another level of texture um so yeah so i'm working now on the sides and also in the front Now for the embellishment, um, I have here a perlap paper, so I'm going to cut it in a thin, uh, thin stripes.
So now it's time to arrange my embellishment. I don't glue anything. I just like to arrange all my embellishment and see how they're gonna look like. If I am, you know, satisfied or happy with how they look like, I'm gonna take a photo, then uh, remove everything and start to glue them. And I have, you know, my photo reference. Now I'm using a chipboard so um, you to give me some dimension so I can raise up a little bit uh, my sea creature. Also I'm using a medical um, cloth I think they call it you know for extra texture. Now I start to glue all you know my embellishments on my die cuts. My final touch will be this beautiful uh, blue beads so I'm going again to use a Mod Podge glue so I'm gonna also put it in a random way so I'm gonna have you know beads everywhere in a random way also if you want you know put them in a specific way of course you can do that this uh, this process is really messy but um, I have to do it <laughs> And here we go we have the final project I really love every single detail in this photo frame um, and now I can't now it's uh, difficult to go to the beach but looking for this piece I hope you like it and get inspired and give this collection a try and working on an article theme thank you so much for watching I know it's a long video um, yeah and I will see you next time bye